everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts again. Um, I am coming to you today to give you a short tutorial on how to um, how to dress up something that this is just it's a beautiful peacock. This is some it's a keychain. And what I do when I go out shopping for things to use in my crafts, I go and I look for blingy pieces and things that I can um, dress up. And you have to go with an open mind when you're searching for craft supplies. You don't have to buy things that are already all blinged up and and um, you know that have you know crazy stuff all over them you can buy pieces like this that's very pretty in itself and could be used just the way it is or you can take that use your imagination and bling it up um, which is something that I choose to do um, <coughs> with a lot of my pieces because that's just who I am I love to um, alter anything that I get so this one this one is fairly simple still I added uh, these little rhinestones to the tail and a few of these gold rhinestones to the body and I didn't add a lot of color to this one I just kind of left it kind of plain but the one that I'm going to do for you today is this one and I'm gonna bling it up even a little bit more so stay tuned uh, we're gonna get started on this right away the one thing that you're gonna need to do this project is your E6000 glue um, it's the best glue that you can use to adhere um, things to jewelry and um, well as far as I'm concerned maybe not be it may not be the best but it's my best um, <laughs> And I feel that E6000 works so well that things, once you put them on, they are not coming off. These are all put on with E6000. I can run my hand over them, go crazy, and those little pieces are not going to come off of there. Um, so that's my choice um, of, of things to use. The other thing that I am going to use that is my handy dandy tool is this jewelry picker. And this has two ends. This one I've been using quite a bit, so this end is starting to get a little less sticky than it used to be. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to change that or if it can be changed or made sticky again. But um, And I don't know if it's because maybe it's got a little bit of glue on the outside of it that has changed its stickiness. I think that's what it is because I'm picking some of that off of the outside and it feels sticky again. Okay, so a jewelry picker. It has a small end here, which is what I use the most for my small rhinestones and things, and it has a large end, and both ends are somewhat, like, slightly sticky, sticky enough to um, pick up your beads and easily transfer them to uh, where you want them to go. So I am going to be using my picker. And these are some rhinestones that I will be using today. Um, I've got these iridescent rhinestones and these are flat backs. I purchased these on Amazon and I got an entire bag of them so I'll be using those and then I'll be using some of these which I feel are great peacock colors and I'll show you where I got these in just a minute so those are sort of multicolored sort of aqua blue green iridescent little square uh, rhinestones and I get those from or I took those from this is a lanyard that was purchased at Michael's and it's a bead landing product and it's got these iridescent rhinestones. Now look at all those rhinestones you have to use from just this one lanyard and when you can go into Michael's and get these really cheap, this was $5.99, I think they were having a 50% off sale when I bought these. Um, and then, you know, and if you have a coupon, you can further your discount. Well, usually you can't use the coupons with the sale items, but 50% off, 
I'm getting a lot of rhinestones off of this for, you know, three bucks. So I'm all for, again, repurposing. And then here's just a little, uh, this is from the 99 cent store. And this is a little um, wrist lanyard that you can use for your keys, keychain. And it works really, really well to take those little stones off and use them in your pieces. And they're pretty sparkly. So get on over to those dollar stores and check out and see what they've got that you can buy real cheaply. If you're working on a budget, like most of us are, um, you know, it, it helps to go and seek out those things that are inexpensive that you can use um, in your crafts and really make beautiful items. And no one has to know that you only spent, you know, a minimal amount of money uh, to make them. So let's see. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, so I think I've really got everything I'm going to use. This should be a fairly quick video. Um, and so let's just get started. I'm going to take some of these iridescent rhinestones. And I like to just dump a whole bunch of them out so that I have a bunch of them that are already uh, shiny side up. And that way I don't have to keep trying to pop them up or move them around or whatever. And I think what I'm going to do also is I'm going to take my E6000 and a little piece of paper here, and I'm just going to squeeze my E6000 out onto that and use a toothpick to um, control, better control the amount of glue that I'm using on this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting rhinestones on these little puffy parts on this peacock. So I'm just going to dab a tiny bit of E6000 on each one of these little puffs in the tail. Don't put too much E6000 on there or you're going to have a lot of ooze um, that's going to show up and you don't you want to try and minimize um, that oozing glue. So I'm just putting little dabs on each one of these little guys and hopefully I want to make sure my E6000 does not dry out. I work fairly quickly when I do this sort of thing so um, some of you may want to do just a few at a time if you're going to work slowly and more methodically but I already know what I want to do with this, so I'm ready to rock and roll here. So I'm going to take my handy dandy uh, jewelry picker. And let's see. Yep, it's sticking. And I'm going to put these rhinestones. Oops. It, it has lost a lot of its stick, so I may, I may end up having to buy another one of these. Or I could use the other end of it. But the other end is so sticky that it doesn't want to let go. So I almost kind of like it when it starts to lose a little bit of its stickiness so that I can easily uh, drop these rhinestones on my piece without them sticking to the jewelry sticker or the jewelry picker and um, not wanting to come off because then I end up sliding things around and they don't stay and um, this thing is the best, one of the best tools I ever bought though. I'm going to tell you guys straight up. Um, this is an amazing tool. It really helps to speed up your crafting because you're not messing with trying to pick up beads with your fingers or with tweezers that, you know, they tend to slip around even in tweezers. Um, I've watched some of these um, uh, people that do make jewelry and use tweezers for all of their stuff and they're amazing trust me they are good with a pair of tweezers and I'm just not that good at it so um, I, I choose to use a jewelry picker and it helps me a lot and it helps me to speed up the process so there we have it we've got all of those little rhinestones on the tail
Hopefully you guys can see those. It's really hard to see them for some reason. I guess it's because they're just kind of iridescent. So I'm going to put the rest of those back in their little jar so that I don't accidentally pick those up when I'm trying to do something else. And the next ones that I'm going to use are these aqua green and blue um, rhinestones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sticking those sort of in between the areas where these other iridescent rhinestones are. So um, with that, it's going to be a little more difficult because these are holes sort of that I'm sticking them in. And so I have to be my glue has to be placed differently. It's not just laying on the center of something that I'm going to lay them in the middle of. It's got to be on the edges of this peacock. So I'm just going to gently fill in a little bit here with some E6000. And it's starting to glob up. And then I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to do these a little less at a time, um, a little more slowly because I want them to be placed correctly. And these, since they are square, I'm going to try and, and face the points up and down. And it's not working. It got trapped in the hole. Okay. So, and this, I may have to use my fingers a bit because it's a little different positioning. So I got one in there. Let's see how we're going to do with the rest of these guys. If I position it right in the first place, I'm going to do okay. But I do want them to line up and look, look right with each other, and kind of lined up with each other as well. I don't think I put any E6000 in that spot, so... This is a little bit more difficult, so I am going to use my, my needle nose pliers. And actually, I have some narrower ones here that might work a little bit better for me. These are long tipped needle nose pliers. There we go. And we got that one in place. Yay! Okay. Uh, so now, now that I've taken my time there, I think I need to add a little bit of a dab of E6000 back into these spots here, just to make sure we have enough of the wet glue that's going to adhere these little guys. And again, I'm making the points go up and down. I don't want them to look like squares. I want them to look more like little diamonds. So, in order to do that, the placement gets a little more difficult with these stones, but we'll get them in there. This one sort of turned a little bit. go okay we got it okay so it's not going to be super easy on some of these but that's okay I'm gonna add some fresh e6000 here so that it's a little bit wetter and it'll work with me a little bit better so then I think well, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and go down to the next section here And I'm using just a tad bit more of e the E6000 on these only because of where they're being placed. I want to make sure that the E6000 is touching them because there's a hole there, sort of. Um, they kind of want to fall down into that hole and I want to make sure that, you know, the glue is actually going to 
uh, work the way it's supposed to. So, okay, now I'm going to go down to these bottom two. And I'm going to stick two more in there. And then I may be adding some more in other spots where there's kind of a, a hole because I can see some other spots where we could actually add some more of these. And I want this one to be quite a bit more blingy than the other one is. So, and I may end up actually doing this to the other one as well because I'm really, really liking the way this is coming out. Um, so now what we're gonna do is you can see where these holes are. I've got holes down at the bottoms of these too. So I'm gonna add these to the bottom as well. And I may end up, just because I hadn't fully intended on going this route, I may end up having to um, pull some more of these off of that lanyard so you guys can kind of see how I, how I do that as well. It's an easy process. I mean, I'm sure anybody could figure it out themselves, but if I have to do it, then I might as well show you how I do it, right? <laughs> oh, look at how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I don't think I'm going to need to cut any more of those off. I think we're good. But I may pull that out just to show you guys real quick how I how I get those off of that lanyard. Okay. So it's a beautiful day outside today and this one, let's see. There we go. It's a beautiful day outside today and I'm stuck in the house. But if I'm gonna be stuck in the house, I'm going to be crafting. <laughs> so I'm thrilled to have the time to just sit down and do this. Um, I've been really, really busy lately, so I'm sorry if I haven't put enough videos out recently. Okay, so that's how this looks so far. Is that not gorgeous, you guys? Look at that. Super pretty, OMG. And then at the top of this, I'm gonna do like I did on the other one. Um, I'm just trying to think. I don't know if I, well, I think I'm just gonna use these little gold uh, pieces. And these are actually, these little gold ones I got off of the tops of some compact mirrors that I bought at Michael's. I take the tops off of them and so I decided to scrape some of these little gold rhinestones off so that I could use them in some other things. So let's just use them in this. Um, I did use them on the other peacock. I'm going to use some fresh E6000 here. So we want to try and keep that E6000 as wet as possible when we're when we're working on these. And I'm just going to kind of spread it onto this top piece because we're pretty much going to cover this with those little gold rhinestones. So it can't hurt to add extra glue because the glue is going to be all covered up anyway. So the only problem with these little stones is they're a little bit sticky on the bottom because they were on a sticky film when they were on the compact. So it's not as easy to pick them because they want to stick to the paper towel that I have sitting here. Okay, I'm going to just grab some more of these so that they're out there. Let's try this one. They're not going to they're not going to give up easily. But these look really pretty. They're just kind of plain. They're just kind of a gold gold color. But they sort of fill in this space and add a little bit more sparkle. Not a lot, just a little bit. But they do add that little bit of sparkle that I like. So um, I'm happy to use them in any way I can. <laughs> Let's see if this other end will pick these up better. Yeah. 
I'm going to have to use the big end. But see, this is what I'm talking about. The big end wants to, to hold on to them. So I almost have to use my fingernail to kind of get them to stay. And one more over here in this corner. And one more right up here. Well, that one doesn't seem to want to stick, and I have to say I think that maybe there's no E6000 right there. So we'll add some E6000, push that little guy back in there, and there we have it. Okay. And actually, I think I have a place for one more. So I'm going to put it in there. And that's what it looks like with those little gold stones. Super pretty, you guys. So don't be afraid when you get a piece that's not blinged out that you think you want to have some bling on. Don't be afraid to, to find little bits and pieces that you can uh, bling them out with. And do it. Just make them, make them your own. So this was, this is the one that was a little more plain that I just did the basic rhinestones on. And actually, I will be blinging this one out like this one. Um, I've decided. <laughs> I love, love, love the way this one looks. This is the one we just did. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'll move it around just a little bit so you can see the, the sparkle. So there we have it, you guys. Um, we have a blinged out peacock. And um, so go ahead and give this a try. Um, you know, you can find different kinds of peacocks and things like that at Michael's. A lot of times you can find the little keychains and things like this. But um, Kiki Sale is where I got these two peacocks, and they were just plain, like you saw in the beginning. I got these from Kiki Sale, and I blinked them out, and I think they are spectacular. Um, so if, if you get a minute, go on over to Kiki's Sale on Facebook. I'll put the link down below so that you guys can go over and, and check out the shop. I know Debbie right now is adding a whole bunch of things to the shop. Um, as they come in so um, get on over there check it out and see what she has um, and uh, tell her Carol sent you <laughs> okay so anyway have a wonderful day everybody be blessed thank you for subscribing to my channel I greatly appreciate um, all of my my old subscribers and my new subscribers can't really call anybody an old subscriber because my channel is fairly new um, so I'm trying to grow it. So if you have friends that you think might enjoy this uh, tutorial, please um, please share it with your friends and, and family and get the videos out there so that we can grow the channel. And I will be doing a um, giveaway video once I hit the 2,000 subscriber mark. So um, stay tuned for that. It will be something really spectacular. Um, I like to do, you know, really nice things for my giveaways. So um, what I will do is I'll do a tutorial on whatever item I'm going to be giving away. And um, that will be the item. And then I'll let you guys know um, how you can um, win that item. It will be done as a completely random selection. And I will do the random selection in, uh, in a video so that you guys can see that it is it's not something that um, I decide on my own. I don't pick a name out of a hat. It's a... Um, online program that you use to randomly select winners for giveaways. So anyway, again, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. Uh, don't forget to, to ring the bell if you want notifications for my new videos. And I will be seeing you all soon with another video. I'm 
going to start working on figuring out what I'm going to do next um, for y'all. So again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.